Hello guys, in this video, let's discuss about Azure Cosmos DB Trigger and let's try to understand it with an example. So imagine we have an application and when user registers himself, we save the user details in Cosmos DB. And now we want to run email service that is we want to execute Azure function which will send welcome email to the user when a new record of that user is added in Cosmos DB. And in that case, we can use Cosmos DB trigger, which will run when new record is added in Cosmos DB. Now in this Cosmos DB trigger function, we will retrieve all the details from this newly added record, such as username, user email, gender, city, etc. Now guys, we are in Visual Studio and we are creating a new project. And now let's create Cosmos DB trigger function. So we'll select Azure functions next. Let's give name. So we'll say Cosmos DB trigger demo. Next. Let's select trigger as Cosmos DB trigger from this drop down. Let's give the container name and database name. So for this, let's go to the portal and see our container name is C users and database name is test database. Let's go back to the Visual Studio and here I will say C users and database name I will say test database let's keep this connection setting name blank as of now and let's say create and now guys if you see our cosmos db trigger is ready now the first thing let's add a connection string to our azure cosmos db so let's open this local settings.json and here i will say connection strings and here i will say cosmos db connection string and let's provide the value and for this again let's go to the azure portal and we have opened that, that cosmos db so let's go down and here we can see keys so let's copy this primary connection string so let's copy it and let's paste it in visual studio now let's copy this key name which we just added that is cosmos db connection string let's copy it let's go to function1.cs and let's paste it under this connection variable on line number 15 and let's save now guys let's go down and if you see here we have this class that is to do atom and it represents the model which will correspond to a record which we add in azure cosmos db so in simple words let's just delete it okay and let's add our own model that is class user and in the interest of the time i have already copied it so let's copy it from here and let's paste it over here so basically this is class user which is our model and which will represent a newly added user okay and you can see it's a straightforward code so it has just properties id username user email city like that okay and one more thing guys if you observe we have added this attribute json property as well and it is id username user email and city that is it starts with small letter this is because cosmos db properties they are case sensitive okay so what i mean is uh, we will be adding this record in cosmos db and if you observe property name it starts with small letter right so we need to make sure that the property name for the record which we add in cosmos db it should match with the property name in our class user that is model and we have to take care of case sensitivity as well and now let's go up and let's copy this class user and let's paste it over here that is on on line number 18 and we need to make change on this line number 24 as well and here I will make it small capital ID and let's say and now let's add a debugger on this line number 21 okay and let's run our program and now our cosmos db trigger is running and now it's listening for new records to be added and let's add a new record so again let's go back to this notepad file let's copy this and again let's go to the azure portal so again i am in this test database and 
let's open this container c users let's click on item and here let's say new item and and let's paste the contents we copied so basically we are just adding this new record of user Harshal Jain and let's click on save and you can see immediately our cosmos db trigger has been hit and the debugger has been hit and if i take my mouse to this input variable and if i expand it you can see it has one record and it is of type user let's expand this and you can correctly see we have this username Harshal Jain user email Harshal at the rate gmail.com so basically we can retrieve the user's email and we can send welcome email to this user